absolute shocker of a start today. Got clipped in and then just here, bang, my foot comes out the pedal when I go to put the power down, get gapped straight away. But you have got the best of both worlds today. It's me and dad on commentary. You've asked for it, so you've got it. There we are. Max going off, blinding start. Giorgio in the second place there. Really concerned about his lack of bike handling skills at the minute. So, anyway, around the first corner. So, as you'll see coming into that first corner, Mac did gap me straight away, missed the pedal, absolute nightmare. Well, I got clipped in, and then you know when you go to absolutely rip the head off it and give it some ponies, and then your other foot pulls out, absolute shocker. And this lad can absolutely shift. So, I am now working my backside off. Sorry about the mud on the screen, it was slick out there tonight it was muddy and I am working my backside off to try and shut the gap down to Mac because he's a strong strong boy on the flat sections as well so I know that as soon as we get to that flat bit and he whacks it and gives it some berries I need to be glued to that wheel so that I can get a little bit of a draft because my piddly little legs do not move fast on the flats that is for sure but as I was just saying it rained heavy this day so it was muddy it was slippy it was a little bit slippy on the top and although i'm hunting mac down here i'm sat in second place he's actually in the junior category and i am in the senior category so we go off at the same time we're obviously all still trying to win look at the power he puts down there absolute monster he is we're obviously both trying to win but the main goal is to win our category as well because there is a GC at this event. This is the Super Marina Cyclocross and it's a night race. The lights will come on in a minute. It is class. It's mega look coming into the woods nice and fast you'll see the tree that i whacked into last week but the gc i was sitting in second place coming into this race and i was 20 seconds behind first place and he is now behind me and i am just working my backside off i know if i could if i could just shut this gap down to mac he will help pull me away. But look around these corners, a little bit slippy and I just didn't have the confidence on the corners. I am running muds tonight, lemurs. I have sacked off the chicanes that I used at Clamfield where I had an absolute shocker on the corners and I was just descending like a granny. I've just decided I'd rather go slower on the flats. That was the tree back there that I pinged off. Uh, last week and put a hole in my leg but I've decided now that I'm just going to run muds it is what I've done last year it gives me a little bit more confidence a little bit better speed around the corners and stuff but you can see it's not much of a gap between me and Mac but trying to shut that down is really hard like on the road bikes you can you can shut these gaps down pretty easily but on cross a 10 20 meter gap can be really hard to shut down there you can see third place so we have got a little bit of a gap to third place so i'm just thinking i'm trying to shut that gap down to mac and i'm also trying to make sure i win the seniors race this week and i move up either get closer to the top of the gc or maybe even take the lead in the gc but these corners were a little bit slippy around there look at the power he puts down at the corner every corner he was just absolutely ripping my legs off and I was just hanging on for dear life at this point heart rate's already nice and high look at him out the corner smash 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 real real strong boy and he was putting me deep in the hurt locker on this first lap there you go well done Mac well done Giorgio stay with it get on that wheel Third place going through there. Mac just coming around. There's Giorgio. Yeah, that's good, Giorgio. Well done. Stay with him. Put some power down. Good lad. So you can see we, there was not much of a gap, but as soon as it hit this flat section, look at him go, absolutely just monster in it. And this is where I was actually struggling to go with it tonight, just putting the power down on the flats, but coming into these twisty little sections, I felt like we were quite evenly matched through the woods. I was 
weaving in and out a bit better on the muds than I was on the slicks last week which was nice but it was just full full gas and you saw the gap we had to third place as well so that was nice that I was moving away and taking the lead in the senior race. There it is Mac coming through. Yeah well done Mac, nice. Come on Giorgio, pick it up, pick it up, come on let's go. Good lad, out that saddle every corner please. They're off there, third's coming through now and uh it's probably difficult to see but it's been raining cats and dogs and it's really slippy out there the um tires are picking up a, a lot of mud and uh, it's very slippy very greasy and we're just gonna make we didn't come down this way last week so i thought we'd have a little change so we'll just have a little walk through the woods and uh, we'll see if we can find this tree that uh, jumped out and moved. And uh, hopefully um, we'll get a little shot of it. And uh, watch out for the logs. <laughs> <laughs> no. So no need to worry after that, I'm okay. Uh, still up and on the old feet. <laughs> and that is exactly how slippy it is. The old man can't even stay on two feet. He went down like a sack of spuds there. But this is, I think we're on like lap two now. Yeah, lap two. So we're just coming up the little kicker. And you'll see the gap Max got on me. He's just going up that rise over there. So I gradually knew he was just slowly lap by lap opening up that gap. And what I've been struggling with, and just here he makes a little mistake there, the foot down. And I thought, maybe I can close it. Maybe I can close it. But as soon as he made that mistake, he got straight back on the power and absolutely whacked it. And... It really is hard to shut them gaps down. You can't make mistakes off the line like that. Because you'll see here a lap later, I could see that he had just opened it up a little bit more. And just there again, every lap it was opening up. And I've been really struggling with that first 15 minutes of this race when he goes and really puts it down. I've been struggling to go with that. And I feel like... If I could stay with that, you can see third place just coming through there on the, on the left. So we've got a bit of a gap. Max starting to gap me now. But I feel like if I could just stay with him for that first 15 minutes, that's the bit I need to get used to. That real hard, full gas acceleration. I'm good at going with it, but I'm not good at, if I do go with it, I absolutely blow my biscuit for the rest of the race. So yeah, your head sort of tells you to rein it in when you want to just absolutely go for it because you know if you do carry on you will blow up big time run into the woods here that's pretty much what you'd be going into section like that and this camera's quite good actually at uh, picking up dance so there's a few roots and uh, you can see a real good fast pace going through the woods as well which is uh, really good to see oh and there's Giorgio go on Giorgio get on with him so he's really nice and easy to see because the uh, the green tint on his uh, light. Not doing too bad actually, not too far behind Mac. I thought it would be a lot further behind Mac because these youngsters are so good at cornering. Getting a really, that's third place coming through now so they've got a really good little gap. So there he goes there. Yeah and the youngsters, they just corner like the bike is on rails and uh, Mac would be absolutely no exception. I'm not sure how old he is. He's, geez, he's probably like 16. Actually, he's the same age as Ben, actually. So he is, Frank, he could actually be 15. And, um, known Mac for, oh, I don't know, maybe since he was five or six years old racing. And uh, they can just go around these circuits like it's on a, a, a train sort of. It's quite unbelievable the bike handling skills they have got. So we're just coming down to this corner here. This front of the just snakes with a couple of laps. He's just making a real meal out of this corner. Well, it, well, it looks like he's making a meal out of this corner. So I don't know whether he's coming in with too much speed. I'm not sure. So we're just going to see if he's coming along now. I'm just trying to see if there's any feedback we could give him, what he might be doing wrong. 
and so here he comes now and yeah foot out that's that's what it was he's put his foot out coming into that corner couldn't quite work it out we will discuss it later so he's obviously concerned about slipping out falling off he's obviously pushing really hard to try and get back on on back of mac but yeah sometimes the harder you push the worse you make it he really needs to improve and he, he did actually say he's been doing so much road cycling and no mountain biking uh, that his bike handling skills are, are really rusty note to self really that you know uh, before the cross season starts really been should have been riding the cross bike and a little bit of mountain biking just to try and um, uh, hone those skills back in because yeah you don't use it and you lose it i suppose yeah so dad is 100 percent right round the corners and that it is sloppy foot out lack of confidence and i really just didn't work on the basics enough this year and that is something that i need to work on over the next couple of weeks i'm hoping with a bit more time doing these races the wessex league it'll all start to come back but i was just trying to put down the power once you start hitting back markers mistakes can happen so i'm still absolutely whacking it because i'm trying to take the lead in the gc and i'm also thinking if mac makes a mistake i can close it down and catch it what every rider loves to see Joe just coming around there they drop back a little bit and they've got a pretty good performance especially these worried um like stepping out and I've got more confidence to come as the mud starts to be more regular feature. Go on, big last lap, George. Big last lap. So there we go, coming into the last few corners of the last lap. I've managed to cling on to second place. Mac pulled away. I think he beat me by 28-ish seconds. But the good news is the, I was, the reason why I was putting it down and putting the work in now is because I wanted to take that GC lead. And I think I overturned the 20 seconds. I haven't seen the GC standings, but I beat the guy that beat me last week by 1 minute 30. So super happy of that. We're just going to wrap it up, show you Mac coming through now. Yeah, what well up, Mac? There you go. So there's the leader, Mac, across the line. Two in a row. Giorgio just over there. Yeah, what well on, Giorgio? So here he comes. It's uh, second place today for him, but then it might be first actually if uh, just Max in a, a younger. Is that first place then? That's tough. Is that first place for you? Yeah, but Mac beat me. Yeah, well, he we... got. Did you see my start? My missed my pedal. All oh, right, I didn't Foot see. Foot come that. out. He got a really good start. I couldn't close that after. Yeah. Powerful on the flats. Like I felt like through the single track we're actually quite even, but on the flats I've got I can find some power from somewhere. Yeah. But um, Mac is off the national TT time trial, so he obviously is a good oh, little time trialer. That explains but, it. Uh, and then, uh, I think we... I might have taken the GC lead though, because that's the guy that was leading last week. Oh right. Um, he had 20 seconds on me. Oh, right. So okay, that'd be interesting to see. And also we did a little bit of footage because um, we saw you going into the wood section over there, unclipping your foot, looking a little bit um, oh, cautious going in there. I so. didn't want to crash this week. No trees were <laughs> harmed in the making of this video. <laughs> so yeah, so, I take it as you, I, I fell over going through the woods there. and it's on, on the video. So that'd be quite funny. <laughs> And that is a wrap. Quality, savage Thursday night racing. Absolutely love it. And racing in the night, cyclocross racing is absolutely class. You have got to try it. I don't think there's many races like this about, but it is mega going into the woods with the lights on. Really good workout as well to get a midweek smash in. Hopefully, I can close that down, that gap down on Mac because he is a strong, strong boy. But I have taken the lead in the GC. Technically, that was a first place in the seniors but I'm not going to count it as a first place because we started at the same time Matt clearly beat me so I come second but happy of the performance need to work on the bike handling skills but hopefully over the next couple of weeks it's all going to start to come together I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one